Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best Dolby Atmos soundbars in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 10. LG SP8YA Up until recently, LG soundbars have proven to be a bit of a mixed bag, but the company has redeemed itself with its 2021 lineup and the SP8YA is no exception. This Dolby Atmos soundbar with a wireless sub is bang smack in the middle of the range in terms of price and size but retains the connectivity features of the higher-end models. There's eARC, plus another HDMI 2.1 input with 4K Dolby Vision and HDR10 pass-through as well as an optical input and a USB port. Streaming is well catered for too. Alongside Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, there's Chromecast and Apple AirPlay too, and if you have access to high-res content, you'll be pleased to know the soundbar can handle audio of up to 24-bit 192kHz quality. Sonically this 3.1.2 package also punches above its weight with a broad, vibrant soundstage that can easily match the cinematic scale of larger screens. It can also be easily upgraded to 5.1.2 by the addition of the SPK8 2.0 surround kit for around £130. Number 9. Bose Smart Soundbar 900 Bose's aesthetic sensibilities mean that the Smart Soundbar 900 has a more modern and refined appearance than most of its competition, with a wraparound metal grille and polished, impact-resistant tempered glass top. Underneath the bodywork, Bose's first Dolby Atmos Soundbar Sports has nine channels of amplification. As well as the pair of height drivers, there's one center tweeter flanked by four racetrack transducers. Despite the appearance of its completely wraparound grille, there are no side-firing drivers. Instead, two further transducers are positioned at the far left and right that use Bose's phase guide technology, which gives the impression of placing certain sounds at either side of the listening position. As you'd expect from Bose, there are plenty of connectivity options and features on board with a single HDMI eARC port, an optical in Ethernet and a USB socket. For streaming, there's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2, Spotify Connect and AirPlay 2. Moreover, from January 2022, there will also be Chromecast on board by way of a retroactive firmware update. There's also support for both Amazon's Alexa and Google Assistants. The onboard Alexa lets users make and receive intercom calls to other Bose smart products and Amazon Echo devices or make hands-free calls to anyone from within your contacts list. Number 8. Sony HT-G700 If you're on a tight budget, the Sony HT-G700 could be just the ticket. It might not be the most compact bar around, but it's certainly big on sound, big on value and comes with a wireless subwoofer, dedicated HDMI input and support for both Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, Sony's own vertical surround engine and S-Force Pro front surround technologies dish up a convincing Dolby Atmos soundscape while that chunky subwoofer adds plenty of heft to big explosions. Of course, being an entry-level Dolby Atmos soundbar, it doesn't compare to the much pricier Sony HT-ST5000 in terms of clarity. It also lacks music streaming features and voice control. Still, if you're after a dedicated bit of home cinema kit on a budget, the powerful-sounding HT-700 serves up a seriously cinematic performance at a nice price. Number 7. Bowers & Wilkins Panorama 3 Bowers & Wilkins's first Dolby Atmos soundbar is designed as a standalone system that delivers 3.1.2 channels of audio from a single unit, with no optional upgrades for surrounds and sub. Instead, it has dedicated subwoofer drivers on the top face alongside its vertical height drivers. Connectivity is via a single HDMI eARC port and optical digital input for older TVs. If you use the latter, Bowers & Wilkins has included technology for the soundbar to learn key TV remote control commands so that all users can enjoy the same unified experience as those with eARC connections. The Panorama 3 doesn't have its own dedicated remote, relying on app control, while there's also Amazon Alexa on board for hands-free voice commands. Streaming is well catered for with AirPlay 2, Aptex Adaptive Bluetooth and Spotify Connect, while high-resolution listening is supported via the Bowers & Wilkins Music app, which gives listeners access to streaming services including Tidal, Deezer and Cobus, 
with the number of supported platforms set to expand later this year. Number 6. Blue Sound Pulse Soundbar Plus First Things First, at 14 cm high, the Blue Sound Pulse Soundbar Plus is a fair bit taller than your average soundbar and, when placed on the same surface as a TV, will almost certainly block part of the screen. Although it comes with detachable kickstand legs, Blue Sound really intends for the Soundbar Plus to be wall-mounted. There's a bracket included in the box for this purpose and, to keep the installation tidy, the soundbar can be orientated with the cable cove at either the bottom or the top, with an internal accelerometer automatically sensing which way up the bar is. But with the added height, the Pulse Soundbar Plus can accommodate forward-facing drivers larger in diameter than those in most competing models. So despite only offering virtual Dolby Atmos, the resulting performance is impressively detailed, solid and satisfying. The Pulse Soundbar Plus includes inputs for HDMI eARC, optical, 3.5mm analog and USB-A, as well as an Ethernet port and RCA output for an external sub. There's support for high-res audio file formats and streaming on board courtesy of Apple AirPlay, two-way Aptex HD Bluetooth and the BlueOS wireless system that integrates with services including Tidal and Spotify. Number 5. Sony HT A9 Speaker System OK, so it's not a soundbar but we think that anyone considering a soundbar should also consider this. Sony's HT-A9 offers the same compact, plug-and-play convenience and streaming features of a top-quality soundbar but has the integration and immersive sound of a traditional surround package. Consisting of four identical-looking gray wireless speakers and a hub that connects to your TV, the Sony HT-A9 is a flexible, complete Dolby Atmos cinema in one box. Each of the four speakers contains a 19mm front-facing tweeter and full-range X-Balance driver, as well as an upward-firing X-Balance driver that bounces sound off the ceiling. In terms of supported audio codecs, the A9 is well-specced, with Dolby Atmos, DTS-X, LPCM, Hi-Res Wireless Audio and Sony 360 Reality Audio. The latter is a spatial technology intended to surround the listener, with compatible content available from Tidal, Amazon Music HD, Nugs, and Deezer. When watching or listening to more standard stereo fare, the immersive AE setting on the remote can be engaged to upmix content to create a 3D version that uses the height speakers and the rears. Number 4. Sennheiser Ambio Soundbar Sennheiser's Ambio Soundbar is hugely impressive in both senses of the word. It's a beast, standing almost 1.3 m wide, that's noticeably larger than the competition. But all that extra space has been put to excellent use. While most soundbars rely on an external subwoofer, the Ambio simply crams in larger, more powerful drivers, and it works a treat. You can expect spine-tingling 3D audio that sounds totally effortless, sparkling dialogue and plenty of bottom-end grunt. Connectivity is just as impressive, with Bluetooth 4.2 and Chromecast for streaming. Admittedly its size makes it a little tricky to position. And it doesn't come with a wall mount, so you might need a separate trip to your local hardware store. But once you're squared away the results are breathtaking. The absolute best sounding, not to mention most expensive, soundbar we've tested so far, which is why it retained its title once again at the 2021 What Hi-Fi Awards. Number 3. Sonos Arc soundbars aren't new territory for Sonos, but the 2021 What Hi-Fi Award-winning Arc is the only soundbar from the brand to deliver Dolby Atmos with vertical speakers. It sits above the beam in terms of pricing and is suited to 55 inches TVs and above, with optional wall mounting fixings available for £79. There are touch-sensitive play pause and volume controls on the bar with LEDs that indicate status and when you're talking to the built-in Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. Connectivity includes AirPlay 2, Ethernet and eARC for Dolby Atmos from compatible TVs. The Sonos Arc uses 11 drivers to create your sound field, a number of which are upward firing and angled into your room to bounce sound off your walls and ceiling and give you a more realistic Dolby Atmos effect. It all adds up to one of the most convincing Atmos performances you can get from a soundbar. You're transported to the heart of the action. Surround effects are expertly placed and there's great dynamism and good weight to the sound too. Tonally, it's nicely balanced if you just want to listen to music, although it could sound a tiny bit more direct. But, there's no doubt this is a hugely impressive Dolby Atmos soundbar for the money. 
Number 2. Sonos Beam Gen 2 delivering Dolby Atmos from a small chassis is no mean feat but the 2021 Watt Hi-Fi. Award-winning Sonos Beam Gen 2 achieves a convincing, immersive performance without so much as a vertical speaker in sight. Instead, when watching Atmos content, two of the soundbar's five front-facing arrays are dedicated to reproducing overhead and surround sounds. With its hefty processing power, the Sonos Beam Gen 2 uses psychoacoustic HRTF technology to give the impression of height without needing to get vertical. While genuine overhead sounds are perhaps a stretch too far for this petite performer, its virtual delivery of the Atmos format outstrips any similarly priced soundbar and even a few that are more expensive. The Beam Gen 2 offers an enveloping, spatial soundscape with rich, detailed audio as well as tangible motion and depth. Not that many soundbars at this price point come with networking capabilities, but this being a Sonos product, the Beam Gen 2's ability to integrate into a wireless multi-room system is fundamental to its design. This means you can stream to the Beam Gen 2 from a handheld device using Apple AirPlay 2, and Spotify Connect is built in too. There will also be a forthcoming upgrade to add support for Amazon Music Ultra HD Audio, which will give access to lossless 24-bit 48kHz tracks as well as Dolby Atmos Music. Number 1. Sony HT-A7000 Sony has excellent form with soundbars, and the 2021 Watt Hi-Fi. Award-winning HT-A7000 is no different. A 7.1.2 slab of sound, this Dolby Atmos soundbar packs in two up-firing speakers, two beam tweeters, five front-facing drivers and a built-in dual subwoofer into a single chassis. Using a combination of driver placement and psychoacoustic techniques, the Sony HT-A700 delivers a broad and high soundstage, whether you're watching immersive content or not, while retaining musicality, presence and detail. In terms of height and precision, the performance is similar to that of the Sonos Arc, but the width of the soundstage and its forward projection is more convincing. It's not the same as having direct audio from the speaker above or the side, but it's effective and dramatically enticing, enriching the viewing experience. The integrated sub is also particularly impressive with a taut, controlled and powerful performance. The A7000 excels itself with its extensive audio format support, which includes Dolby Atmos, DTSX, LPCM, Hi-Res Wireless Audio and Sony 360 Reality Audio.